What's up everybody, it's Yvonne Strauss Fly Fishing, back with the forecast for April 24th. We've got some really, a really nice pocket of good spring weather coming up. It's not going to be too hot, not going to be too cold, a good mix sort of in that in, that in between, in the 50s, the low 60s, get some clouds. Uh, so it's really prime time for blooming olives, good streamer fishing, cows on the horizon, a lot, lot to look forward to on the free suns and the uh, tailwaters alike. So uh, let's get, on, get down to it. Let's talk bugs, flows, and weather. The Double Dirty Hippie, this is in uh, yellow and brown. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I'm a fan of black, but I decided to switch it up a little bit. Uh, our good friend up at the uh, Frisco shop, Z old Zeke, Ezekiel Hirsch, loves fishing yellow and brown. Um, that's sort of his confidence color. The marabou on this fly moves a ton. Uh, I love marabou. Um, it imparts a lot of action in the water, it sort of moves freely. You add a little bit of articulation, and this fly looks really good in the water. I like flies that trick me into thinking something's following my own fly. So if I think my fly is an actual fish, I like that fly. This is one of those flies. Definitely recommend it, especially on the free stones like the Eagle, the Colorado, and stuff like that. A little bit big for the Arkansas, uh, but if you want to search for those uh, unicorns that exist there, because you know, big fish exist in every river. That's, that's my uh, firm belief. You can certainly try it on the Arkansas, but certainly a great, a great fly for fishing out of the drift boat um, this time of year. Uh, with variable flows, so you know, we're going to see, it's not going to, I wouldn't expect it a terrible amount of unsteady flows over the next couple of weeks. It looks at the forecast and we're not seeing uh, super um, warm weather. So I wouldn't expect a bunch of melt to come through, but um, if it does, if you do see some variable flows, something like the San Juan worm is always good. Anytime you get a little bit of dirty water, San Juan worm produces, this is the wine color. So big fan of that. Uh, the third fly I'm going to choose is the problem child. This is another craven pattern. Uh, pro problem trout, this is in the hair's ear variety. Uh, super buggy fly, really great invitation for caddis this time of year. Um, you know, smaller stone fly. Uh, I would, you know, with caddis becoming, the Mother's Day caddis on the horizon, uh, problem child, good option, especially something unlike the Arkansas and the Eagle, uh, the Colorado, those free stones. So uh, definitely a worthwhile fly having in your box. I noted that uh, you know, we're going to see some cloudy days coming up, so I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a blue wing dry. This is the low water betas. So if you're going out to the, uh, you know, the South Platte, Deckers, 11 Mile, Cheeseman, uh, the Dreamstream, low water betas, floats really well, has some nice hackle wraps, um, visible but not too bulky. Uh, so it does a good job, especially as we're getting into the middle of this hatch, middle, you know, not the tail end, but towards the middle. You know, you can start to use a little bit of a sparser pattern, uh, this is a great option. And then finally, uh, for the tailwaters and even for the, the free stones, uh, put a masker midge on there. Masker midge has that little foam wing on the back, has the sort of loosely wrapped dubbing, super buggy. I'm a big, uh, big fan of buggy flies. Uh, I think you, anytime you can do something to um, not necessarily look exactly like a fly, but look something like a fly. Uh, I think you're you're doing a doing the right thing. So um, you know, obviously, it, good imitations are great, but uh, you know, great sort of impressionistic patterns, sort of like this master image, where you can get away with it as a midge, as an emerging uh, blueing olive. You can even sort of put it under the in you know in the film. Uh, it's a super versatile fly and definitely worthwhile having in your box. So that's the, the five flies that I've chosen for the upcoming uh, two weeks. Uh, Let's get to flows. All right, flows are relatively stable on the freestones and the tailwaters. Uh, we have this nice little window that I was talking about with not a terrible amount of warmer weather coming through, and especially in the high country. I think in the, in the front range, it's going to get a little bit hotter into the 70s. But, um, you know, up there in, in Vail, not seeing a ton of warm, super warm weather. Uh, certainly can still expect some of the tributaries to blow out uh, with recent snows melting off. Uh, so something to, to keep in mind, but uh, so we'll see some variability, but as a general rule, I think we're going to have this nice sort of uh, lack of big melt 
over the next couple of weeks and a really nice sort of window to get out and enjoy spring fishing before we get into a little bit different season with uh, the uh, beginning of runoff. So um, something to keep in mind, you know, we have this, you know, runoff is ahead. We're starting to get some still waters open. Uh, you know, you can still get out during runoff. It's still very productive. You just have to sort of change your tactics a little bit. Uh, sort of included the flies that I thought would be a, a good option um, for the flows that we're seeing. Uh, you know, on the tailwaters, uh, we did have a bump on the Dreamstream, but now it's sort of uh, back down uh, below 100. Uh, Deckers and Cheeseman still, you know, pretty, pretty lean, uh, but it's still productive, uh, not terribly low. I mean, 70 is in the 70s is not optimal, but it's uh, certainly not the lowest we've ever seen. And um, you know, I've ha heard a lot of good things about uh, dry fly fishing up there. I haven't haven't had a chance to get up to the South Platte recently, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about dry fly fishing. So there we go. That's the flows. Let's talk about weather. Uh, up in Vail, we're gonna get uh, weather in the 50s, some mixed in with the 40, you know, highs in the 40s, and then a couple days in the 60s. A lot of clouds coming through, partly cloudy, that means good blooming olive uh, weather. It also means good streamer weather. Uh, down here in the front range, Deckers, uh, we're going to see a little bit uh, warmer. I think it's, last time I checked, yeah, it's going to be in the 60s, uh, bumping up into the 70s. We're going to have a little, um, you know, some rain showers move through next Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, and then it's going to be back up into the 50s, 60s, and then the 70s. So, um, you know, a little bit warmer here on the front range than it is up in the high country, sort of to be expected, uh, but uh, really nice weather patterns coming up for productive fishing. So if you have the opportunity to get out, no matter weekend, weekday, uh, you know, if you choose a cloudy day, you know, make sure you bring those dry flies for the blue wings. So yeah, there we go. That's bugs, flows, and weather. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we'll see you guys around here in the shop, up in the Frisco shop, maybe on the water. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Bye-bye.